creating these cornhole board games or beanbag toss games, whatever you want to call them, depending on where you live. The object of the game is to make a beanbag land inside this hole. To have a really great game, you have to have a really super smooth surface so that the bags can hit low and slide up into the hole. And if you don't, it's really rough, the bags stick, and it's just no fun. So what I did was went out to the general public on all the social media and asked, what does it mean to finish your finish? So I got a couple great answers and I wanted to share them. The first one is create a smooth finish. Make your project really slick. And then I got some telling you how to do it. Use a brown bag. Sand and recoat several times. What is woodworking? Use steel wool and then one final coat of whatever your finish is to get a really nice clear smooth finish. But my favorite and last comment is, dude, nice stash. Okay, so what's it mean to really finish your finish, though? A couple of those answers are actually great answers. It's to get a really clear, smooth finish for your final product. You don't want something that has a lot of bumps or a lot of uh, like ripples in it or anything like that. And a couple of the ones that said use steel wool and a paper bag, those will work great. Now, as you can see here, I've got both my cornhole boards. The one right here on my right has already been finished. I wanted it ahead of time that way I could kind of show you guys what the final outcome will be. This one has just been lacquered and that is it. Um, the reason why I used lacquer is I find it a little bit easier to fill in any like little holes or anything like that in the woods. And they you don't have to sand in between coats too, which is really helpful. But if you can listen to the sounds of this Un, or this finished one and then this unfinished one you can even tell by just the sounds about the difference so let's listen can you guys tell how smooth this one is and then how rough this one is so let's see how I go from this roughness to this smoothness after you have built up a couple coats of your lacquer finish I'm going to go ahead and let it dry for a day, which it has, and I'll come back with 1200 grit sandpaper. What I'll do with this is just go over it very lightly. I don't even put hardly any pressure on it, and it'll start taking off some of the bumps that you'll be feeling as you're going along. you get done sanding with what little sanding you're going to be doing to remove those tiny little bumps on your surface you can grab whatever you want to that's even finer than the sandpaper you can do three or four out steel wool you can do newspaper and somebody suggested on Facebook that they use brown paper bags I had this paper bag that was in the shop now for a little bit so I'm going to try this out and see how well it works. Um, I used newspaper on the other board and I'm just going to try this out and see what happens. I mean it doesn't hurt to test. So let's go ahead and see how smooth we can get it with this. Wow, that, that's a big difference from the very beginning. Do you remember how rough and scratchy sounding that first beginning was? From how it is now, both of them are extremely smooth that you can't even hear it. You know, that's a, that's a really smooth finish that'll work great on any project where you're using the lacquer. Uh, for your boxes, uh, cornhole boards, boxes boxes and did I say boxes this method is a very cheap method to get a great finish all you have to do is go down to your local newspaper stand and buy a newspaper and it'll last you a long time or you can get some steel wool and that'll last you a good little while as well if you have a tip or technique that works or doesn't work leave a comment below so that everybody can see and 
they don't get burned on a technique if it's already been tried and it's totally failed. If something's worked really great, leave a comment about that as well. That way we can kind of maybe try it out and maybe it'll be a new way that we can finish a project. If you've liked this video, please like and share it. And as always, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more woodworking and blacksmithing projects.